Hello guys, welcome back. United States thanks Nigeria for support. A SEAL Team 6 rescues hostages. The United States government, working with the Nigerian government, rescued an American citizen abducted last week in Niger, but held hostage in Nigeria, according to multiple sources. The daring high-risk U.S. military raid took place early Saturday morning in Sokoto State in Nigeria. Sources familiar with the operation revealed the mission was undertaken by elite commandos as part of a major effort to free the U.S. citizen, Philip Walton, who is 27, before his abductors could get far after taking him captive in Niger on October 26th. Fox News reported that it was the U.S. Navy SEAL Team 6 that conducted the raid and no American soldier was injured in the exercise. The CIA provided intelligence leading to Walton's whereabouts, and Marine Special Operations elements in Africa helped locate him, a former U.S. official said. Then the elite SEAL Team 6 carried out a precision hostage rescue mission and killed all but one of the seven captors, according to officials with direct knowledge about the operation. They were all dead before they knew what happened. Another counter-terrorism source with knowledge told ABC News. A tweet by the U.S. mission in Nigeria on Saturday stated, We thank the government of Nigeria for its partnership and support of this mission. We appreciate the support of our international partners in conducting this operation, was part of a statement issued by the Pentagon. President Donald Trump, who tweeted the development as a show of support, called it a big win for our very elite U.S. Special Forces. Trump further announced in a tweet, Last night, our country's brave warriors rescued an American hostage in Nigeria. Our nation salutes the courageous soldiers behind the daring nighttime rescue operation and celebrates the safe return of yet another American citizen. <clears throat> and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said, Thanks to the extraordinary courage and capabilities of our military, the support of our intelligence professionals and our diplomatic efforts, the hostage will be reunited with his family. We will never abandon any American taken hostage. White House Press Secretary Kelly McEnany was quoted as saying the decision to pull the trigger on the operation was tough. But ultimately, the president prior, prior prioritizes the safety of American citizens. They are very tough ones to make because you are right. It has to be conducted just perfectly. But the president always put the American interest first. It takes a lot of planning. A lot of keeping things quiet until that moment when you get the go ahead. And I was talking to some of our soldiers and they said to me, we pray to get the green light, Mark Enani said. Eric Holerich, an ABC News consultant and retired Navy SEAL, said Walton was lucky that such a mission was possible, such as short time after he was abducted, when others have been held for years. Men in these top tier special forces units trained their entire adult lives to be ready when called upon. Hostage rescue operations are inherently dangerous, he said. Those men put someone else's life above their own. They do so selflessly. It's an illustration of utter commitment. A former U.S. counterterrorism official emphasized generally how long the odds are 
for rescue in the highly dangerous missions, less than 30%. But the officials said that it's crucial to act as quickly as possible so that hostages don't wind up in the hands of Al-Qaeda or ISIS. The longer a hostage is held, the harder it is to find an exact location to be able and conduct a rescue operation, the officials said. U.S. and Nigerian officials had said that Walton was kidnapped from his backyard last Monday after assailants asked him for money, but he only offered $40 and was then taken away by force, according to sources in EJ. Walton lives with his wife and young daughter on a farm near Masalata, a small village close to the border with Nigeria. Niger lies in the heart of the vast Sahel region, which is struggling with a jihadist insurgency that has claimed thousands of lives and driven hundreds of thousands from their homes. Nigerian and American officials told ABC News that they believed the captors were from an armed group from Nigeria and that it was not considered terror-related. But hostages are often sold to terrorist groups. Concern grew quickly after the kidnapping that an opportunity to rescue Walton could become much more dangerous if he was taken by or sold to a group of Islamist militants aligned with either Al-Qaeda or ISIS and American Special Operations commanders felt they needed to act swiftly before they could occur, said one counterterrorism official briefed on the hostage recovery operation. Another American, Christian, who is a humanitarian aid worker, who is a Christian humanitarian aid worker, Jeffrey Ray Woodke, 60, 60 years of age, has been held hostage for the past four years since being kidnapped in northern Niger by armed militants. This comes as a good news to the American people and Nigerians have reacted to this. Olad wrote, God bless the United States of America despite their shortcomings. There is no greater service than service to humanity. A nation is not adjudged to be godly by number of churches or mosques, but by the premium it places on its own people and humanity in general. Oh, how would it have been if man has a choice over where he wishes to be born? Well, we don't have any choice. Slowerman wrote, it's all right. So all these American movies, when are they watch about American army on their special weapons and tactics, not true. Naim and Nigerian army still they behave like people where they weak. They allow Boko boys, they use them play. They shoot on armed civilians. Civilians where they sing national anthem. After them begin the night, say they no go there. Later then they agree, say they go there, but not be live ammunition. Say a blank ammunition. To make it worse, the nine panel access to their mug. It is obvious there are a lot of no good sons and daughters out there in the Nigerian army. Angry Kid wrote, Funny country. They thank you on social media and laugh at you behind you. The, this country is a useless country, really. Okay. No read others. Kevin wrote, this will count as one of the vital achievements of the Buhari administration. Expect additional to rub it on our face while our own citizens are languishing in captivity. Shelms wrote, okay, could have been, it could have been possible the Nigerian forces were notified, not on the mission, but permission to assess the airspace. The mission was too classified. Even that SP itself was infiltrated and they told the armed forces after they are done with the mission. 
Okay, whichever way, whatever it is, that was a very smooth operation by the Army Seal of the United States, Team Six. So, guys, if you have anything to say concerning this, you drop your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.